Okay, we're looking at Mr. Ridley's RMT revision, and this is an exam question focus on manufactured boards. This is for AQA, but it really is the same for most of the exam boards. So, we're going to look at manufactured boards. So, the first thing for manufactured boards is why would you use manufactured board? What are the advantages of using manufactured board over solid timber? And we've got a picture there of some plywood, and obviously, it's they stay flat. They're not prone to warping or twisting. They don't have any faults that um, timber has. They're available in large sheets, so there's no faults. So they don't have knots or grain or anything like that. So it just means, and they're more sustainable because they can use most, much more of the tree with much less waste. And they're cheaper to buy than standard, than natural timber or solid timber. So there are the advantages of using manufactured board. So manufactured boards are usually available in a, a eight foot by four foot size, which is kind of legacy size, but they're um, available in this size. Natural timber is limited by the, obviously the size of the tree where boards can be uh, made in these sizes. So we're gonna just look at three different materials here that come up in this exam question. There is, Chipboard and the properties of chipboard are it doesn't have grain, but it's not as strong as plywood. It's cheap because it can use low grade wood products and it's often using in kitchen services, cheap furniture. Um, with a kitchen services, it has a can have a veneer coating which improves the um, appearance of it, but it's not really suitable for wet conditions. Um, this material is plywood, so plywood is is made from thin layers of wood or plies glued together. It can be, it's available in waterproof grades, it's got a very good strength to weight ratio, again is large, available in large sheets and is really resistant to twisting and warping, that's plywood. And last of all, the materials we're looking at here is MDF, and this is MDF, stands for medium density fibre board. There's MDF. It's cheap, it's made from wood fire and glue pressed together, and it's an excellent surface finish, easily painted. Now we're just going to focus on MDF because this is what this question is particularly on about. This is the focus of this video. So how is MDF made? It's made from trees, um, cut from trees, usually from managed forestry, which means it's a sustainable material. Um, the trees are then transported for the f to the factory, but this does generally use involve the use of fossil fuels. So there we can see a lorry transporting the logs to the factory to be processed into MDF. At the factory, the trees are processed into MDF boards. So we can see tree logs there that have been cut, moving on a conveyor into the processing. The processing process is the wood goes through a series of processes. So it goes through a chipper, um, it's chipped, debarked, heated, turned into fiber, then formed into and heated and lastly cut to size. So it goes through these series of processes to turn it into MDF and this process also requires the use of fossil, some fossil fuels. So these are this this reduces the sustain, sustainability of the material. MDF is not made from waste, generally made from waste products. It can be, but it is generally made from trees that would not be suitable for solid timber production. So smaller trees, the parts of trees that can't be used for manufacturing solid timber. At the end of its life, MDF can be recycled into lower grade timber pro products. So there, there is a, an ability to recycle it into other products, for example, chipboard. But um, if it does, and it can be used for biofuel. But if it does go into landfill, it sorry, if it does go into landfill, it is biodegradable. It will um, break down naturally and not turn into particularly damaging substances. So what are the advantages of using MDF? Now this is part of the question, what are the advantages of using MDF instead of solid natural timber? Well, the advantages, let's have a look. We've got advantage. Number one, timber is the MDF is available in large sheets. The explanation being, you can easily create large surfaces. So you can make large surface is easily using the large sheets. What's another advantage of MDF? It has a smooth surface. 
what's the explanation of that? You don't need to plane or sand it before painting it. It's got a smooth surface, so it's easy to paint. And last of all, another advantage is MDF is a cost-effective material. Try avoid saying it's cheap because that doesn't really... Saying it's cost-effective means that you can buy a large sheet of it for a low price. And this means that products made from the material will be less expensive. So, for example, a, a child's uh, toy box made from it can be cheaper than one made from solid material. So, in this particular question, you get one mark for these, two marks for the one in blue. So, dis the last part of the question says, discuss the environmental impact of using MDF. So, what are the positive environmental points of using MDF? One, it's made from wood, usually from managed forestry. 99% of MDF comes from managed forestry. Wood is a renewable resource. So we've got that one. Wood is a renewable resource. MDF can be made from trees, usually not suitable for solid timber production. So smaller trees, the parts of trees that can't be used, um, that are left over from solid timber production. And at the end of its life, MDF is biodegradable. So these are the positive environmental points you need to talk about in the last point of part of this question. Now let's look at the negative environmental points. So if we're discussing the environmental impact using MDF, MDF, manufacturing MDF, uses fossil fuels. Transporting MDF uses fossil fuels. And burning fossil fuels damages the environment. So at some point, although it's fairly sustainable material, it does cause some damage to the environment. And last of all, fossil fuels are a finite resource. Now these two points aren't particularly about, last two points aren't particularly about MDF, but they're about the overall negative environment and impact of any made material but relating to MDF. So these two points, the negative and the positive environmental points, that's the last part of the question. So now, once you've looked at this, look at this video and then try this question. It's AQA, Design and Technology Resistant Materials. It's the June 2004 paper. It's question six and it's manufactured boards. So that's the question that this relates to. So have a go at that now.